I'm here with Jason Ashley, who is the custom fitting specialist at the Address Montgomery, Dubai. Welcome to UA Golf Online, Jason. Welcome, thanks very much, Paul. Okay, we're here to talk about a, a special and unique piece of equipment um, for golfers here in the UAE. It's a scuba machine, um, which is right next to you there. Can you, can you tell us a bit more about what actually it does? Okay, the scuba machine is a, is a loft and line bending machine. Okay, what we'll be looking at, uh, there's a few uh, new things that have come out with it. Uh, we've got a hydraulic system that bends the, the club, so normally we would use a little bit of force uh, ourselves. I'll just show you quickly. Uh, we'd normally do that, but we'd put this in here and we'd uh, use the gauge to, the hydraulic gauge to lift the, the loft and lie. Um, and basically what this would do is we're going to be looking at giving the golfer the best performance that they can get out of their clubs by altering the lie angle uh, and the loft of the golf club so that the club meets the, the turf as square as possible uh, and the ball as square as possible and staying square through impact as long as possible. So it's a great machine, um, very, very uh, advanced as well. Uh, in the old days, we never had any um, digital advice, uh, devices on it. This has got a digital display, um, which is measured by this, this gauge here. Well, it sounds quite a complicated piece of equipment. Um, so what's the benefits of using such a system? Benefits of using such a system obviously very accurate because it's got a, a digital gauge, so we can we can uh, determine that quite easily. Plus, we've got the the hydraulic system, which makes it a lot easier to bend. Uh, back in the day, we were sort of uh, waiting on on machines to be calibrated and things like that a lot in terms of checking the accuracy of the readings. Uh, very accurate. Uh, the benefits of this particular machine as well is that it's very portable, so it's got it's on wheels. It's got a carry case, we can keep it in the car, I can take it to different ranges, I can take it out onto the range. And the key is getting out there and changing lofts and lies right there so that the player can see the benefit of it. So does it work for uh, all clubs including the fitting of wedges as well? Yes, absolutely. Wedges are one of the, one of the big things we would look at. Uh, most, most systems don't take into account wedges. Uh, this is actually designed um, specifically for uh, getting involved in everything. So wedges are, are important. We'd be looking at changing the lie angle and the loft of the of the wedges during a fitting so the player can get a bit more feedback. Those kind of things alter um, when you're altering the lie and the loft, mainly loft, you would get a difference as well in bounce. So we could look at that and we could play with that right then and then the player can get the feedback straight away. Can you, uh, can you touch a bit on what actually gap fitting means? Sure. Um, gap fitting is, is an acronym for gauge, adjust and performance. Okay, so what we'd be looking at is we'd gauge uh, through measuring through either um, a, a track man which we use um, or a launch monitor um, and then what we would do is we would uh, then adjust obviously and then we'd see how that alters the performance. We would be looking at uh, and the acronym fits in perfectly with what we're trying to do. We would be looking at getting the right yardages for each club so we would believe that uh, anywhere from 7 to 13 degrees difference between clubs, uh, yards, sorry, uh, is, is what we'd be looking at. Uh, you, want, you don't want too big a gap between your clubs. So that is one of the major uh, benefits of this. We'd be out there. We were changing the, uh, the benefits of, of seeing uh, exact yardages uh, yeah. per club, okay. uh, which is what the PGA Tour has been doing for years. And stuff. Uh, so how long would it actually take to get a set clubs fitted and, and in use using this? Well basically what we would do is if, if uh, we, would, we would try out a few different options a person can then purchase a club from there uh, making that, uh, that, that assessment they would bring it over to us we would do, while they're hitting we would change them and alter them sometimes you see a slight variance in certain things so we would adjust that straight away um, in use probably an hour with this machine on a range after purchase it's not quick enough. Oh. So this is the only particular piece of equipment like this currently in the UAE golf academies and fitting rooms? Absolutely. There's nothing else like this. Okay. okay, Jason, thanks for your time. So people can come and see you down here at the Montgomery? Absolutely. Pleasure. All right. Thank you. Cheers.